drawn to osteopathic medicine and visited the school. And once I saw the school, I was in love. And also with the town of Lewisburg. So the people were friendly. There was a, a, a fun family environment that was very open and forward thinking. My mind always goes back to Dr. Nimitz and anatomy. He was our anatomy professor. I have a memory of uh, Dr. Nimitz meeting us in the lab in the middle of the night and going over prosections and you know just helping us when we needed him. It's a very stressful time as a student and he was always there to be to, for us, you know, and he was gave gave of himself at any time. I have a memory, we had a, um, an oyster roast at Dr. Martin's house. And uh, Dwayne Edwards, who is now a general surgeon, he is from South Carolina, and he arranged to have all of these oysters delivered to Lewisburg. And Dr. Martin and his wife had us over, and we built a big bonfire and um, roasted the oysters. It was a great time. There was an astronomy club or something, and, and, and I can't remember the details of it, but I remember being in a farm in Greenbrier County with the professors and, you know, having a beer with your professor was just awesome. <laughs> and uh, looking at the stars, you know, just feeling connected and like it was a family environment, not so intimidating. Um, the work was intimidating, but the professors really wanted you to succeed and survive. I think we're making good progress. You know, it seems like every year when we meet and talk about the updates and, you know, what the administration is doing, it seems like we're right with the times and always progressive. The virtual component is not going away, and I think as long as we continue to thrive virtually, uh, WSM has always been up to date with technology. I mean, even 20 years ago when I was there, there was they were beyond the, the competitors in the state in terms of technology and um you know, just, I think they stay with that, the virtual reality of things now, that's, that, you know, that's gonna be a positive, obviously. And from what I understand, speaking with Dr. Nimitz, that's, that's where they're headed, continuing with the, the virtual component. I love our, our medical students, and I love my students that rotate with me. I always try to encourage them to be their best, give their best. Um, we're not talking about people that aren't driven. By the time they make it to our school, they're, they're very, you know, they're very driven and most people are pretty focused. Um, but I would say stay true to yourself, uh, be authentic, don't lose yourself in the process. Um, and as long as you're doing that and putting your best foot forward, you're never going to fail. Um, and you can't be told no, you know, because if you believe you can achieve and um, always stay true. I was a, an openly gay woman 20 years ago when it wasn't the, the fad or the cool thing. And when I came to the school, um, finally out of the closet, going to live to be my true self, authentic self, and love is love, and I'm not ashamed. The med school gave us significant other cards for our family members and our partners and spouses. Um, 20 years ago, you couldn't marry whoever, you know, if you were gay, you couldn't marry someone. So. Um, it was our significant other. And you know, when you're, when you're young and vulnerable in your early 20s and you're still figuring it out, a lot of us had stories where we, you know, our family disowned us or we were embarrassed to be ourselves. But when I went to the school, they were open. We were talking 20 years ago, open and said, um, you know, we accept all people here, whether you're gay, straight, black, white, whatever, it doesn't matter. And you know, these cards are for your family members to have access to you. And if you're married, that's wonderful, but they're referred to as your significant other. And that left such an impact for me because I've actually, for the first time, felt equal. And I think that's a, that's a huge thing that never needs to be forgotten about that place. Because even when it wasn't cool and it wasn't the trend and it wasn't, you know, the modern or the thing that you talked about, they still took a stance.